In this video, I'm going to show you how to instantly relieve testicular pain. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over easy exercises that are going to target the main muscles associated with groin and testicle pain. This would include the adductors and pelvic floor muscles. That way we can get both quick and long lasting pain relief. A note about these exercises, each one works just a little bit differently. They're going to target different muscles. To get the best results, go through them all, use what gives you the most relief. Also, these exercises are designed for simple muscle strains and inflammation, not for major injuries like a hernia. If you're unsure what's causing your testicular pain, always consult with your local doctor first before starting any new exercise. With that being said, let's get started. If you're dealing with a lot of testicular pain, this is the first exercise that I would start off with. It's extremely gentle and can offer instant relief. It's called the reverse squat. What we're going to do is lie flat on our back next to a wall or a door. You want to get your butt right here as close to the wall as possible and you're going to bend your knees and then wing them outward so they're wider than your hips. Just take your feet, press them into the door. So if we were to flip this, it would almost look like I'm doing a squat. You should also feel a gentle stretch right here on the inner part of your thigh that goes towards the groin. That would be the adductor muscles that we really want to focus on. If you don't feel it, just keep winging your knees outward until you do. So once we feel that gentle stretch, what we're going to do now is focus on our breathing. Just take a deep breath in and then all the way out, just allowing this whole area to relax. Don't try to tense any muscles, including your stomach, or your core. So what I would do is just take a couple deep breaths in until you get a handle on this. And once everything is nice and relaxed, then we're going to build upon this. So the first area that we're going to focus on is around our tailbone and our anus. For a lack of a better term, imagine trying to pass wind or try to defecate. But what you're going to do is just press into that area and tense up the muscles around the tailbone and the anus. Hold that comfortably for about five seconds and then release. And while you do this, again, try to control your breathing, but keep doing that over and over again for about five to 10 repetitions. Next, let's focus a little bit more on the scrotum and the testicles. What I'm going to do this time around is imagine myself urinating, but I'm going to clamp off trying to squeeze that area around the scrotum to stop the flow of urination. So clamp down, and then what you're going to do is try to draw your testicles upward towards the body. It should really engage that area. Only go for a light activation too. Don't try to cause any more discomfort. Hold that for five seconds, relax, and then repeat that 10 times. But go through both of these movements. You're probably going to find that one just offers a little bit more relief. At that point, I would just try to throw more repetitions in until everything is nice and loose or you're not getting any more improvement. And this is a great exercise that you can do daily just to help quickly reduce tension and hopefully get a lot of pain relief. This exercise is what I call the modified butterfly. You can do this one in bed or on a floor, just lie flat on your back like this. The first movement, we're going to target a little bit more into our hips and pelvic floor. Put your legs together, have your knees roughly bent at 90 degrees. Take your hands cup right in front of your knees. What you want to do is slowly bring your knees towards your chest until you feel a gentle stretch form in your glutes, your buttocks, that works into your hips, into your pelvic floor. With all of these movements, we just want a light, gentle stretch. If you start to notice any more pain in your groin or testicles, back off slightly. But once we feel that comfortable stretch, we're going to hold this for five seconds, relax, and then repeat this five times. And with each repetition, you're going to notice that you just have a little bit more range of motion to build into it. So challenge yourself a little bit more with each repetition. So to build off of this movement, what we can do is add in a rocking motion like this. So you're just swinging your hips and knees towards one side, focusing on really moving through your hips and the pelvic floor. So as you do this, you're going to notice that some movements feel really good and some movements might not feel really good. What you want to do is identify the movements that do feel good 
and keep building into this over and over again until everything is nice and loose or you're not getting any more improvement. So let's take this one to the next level and focus a little bit more on the inner part of the thigh by targeting the adductors, a major cause of both groin and testicle pain. So what you're going to do this time around is put your feet together and take your knees and wing them outward as much as you can until you feel a light, gentle stretch right here in our thighs. Once you feel that, you're going to cup around your knees and slightly pull your knees towards your chest until you feel that gentle stretch into the hips and the pelvic floor. From here, hold this comfortably for five seconds and then relax. And then do this about five times. And with each repetition, just keep building into it as much as you can. And to take this one to even the next level, what you can do is add in that rocking motion. But go through all of these movements. You're gonna find one that just really helps you out the most, really just offers the best amount of stretch. At that point, keep building into it over and over again until everything is nice and loose or you're not getting any more improvement. This exercise is what I call the Kegel Rocker and Bridge. If you're unfamiliar with the Kegel, it's one of the best pelvic floor strengthening exercises but it's also really good for helping to relieve testicular and groin pain. So let's break it down. What we're going to do is lie flat on our back in bed or on a floor. Just have your legs roughly hip width apart, knees bent, feet flat. Let's start off by doing a pelvic rocker or a pelvic tilt. Just helps loosen up everything around the pelvic floor and the groin. So what you're going to do is take your hands, put them right on your hips. Start off by just having everything nice and relaxed. So don't tense up any muscles, including the core. What you want to do is imagine your tailbone just being curled upward like this towards your belly button, towards your spine. So kind of just rock up like this. As you do this, you're going to start to feel the pelvic floor and the groin area Area, start to activate. Hold this comfortably for a second and then what you're going to do is go in reverse. So take your tailbone and now press it downward into the bed or the floor. Hits the muscles just a little bit differently. So what I like to do is just rock back and forth for about 10 to 15 times. And with each repetition, just building into it a little bit more. So now let's build into our Kegel exercise. This time around, we're going to start off by bracing our core muscles. It's kind of like when somebody pokes you in your stomach, how you tense up, try to draw your belly button towards your spine and then hold that. You're also going to squeeze your glutes, your buttocks, and now we're going to focus a little bit more around the scrotum. So when you're going to the bathroom, I'm sure at one point or another, you've tried to clamp down and stop the flow of urination. You know how it tenses up around the scrotum and the testicles? What you want to do is mimic that, really clamp down. I like to take this one further by also trying to draw my scrotum and testicles upward towards my body to really get that area activated. What I'm going to do is just hold this for about five seconds and then release. And I like to repeat this about five times, really focusing on getting a really good amount of control over this movement. So once you feel like this is pretty easy and you're really getting a very good control over it, let's take this one to the next level by adding in a bridge exercise, which is going to help strengthen the lower back, the legs, and the glutes, everything that helps support the groin area. So let's get back into our original clamping down position. Let's draw those testicles up towards the body. And then from what there, what I'm going to do is now take my heels and press them gently into the bed to activate the glutes a little bit more. And then I'm just going to lift my hips upward towards the ceiling until my body is in a nice straight line from my knees to my hips to my shoulders. If you're unable to get into this position because of weakness or pain, do the best you can. But in this position, you're going to feel a ton of muscles start to fire, but I really feel it around my scrotum, around the groin. Hold this comfortably for about five seconds, relax, and then repeat this 10 times. Afterwards, see how you feel. If it feels like you have a little bit more energy and this is helping out, challenge yourself by throwing in another set or two. Here's a really good exercise called the frog rocker. For this one, we're going to start on all fours on a floor. What we want to do first is take our feet, put them together, and then wing our knees outward as much as we can until we feel a gentle stretch right here on the inner part of our thigh that works towards our groin. That way we are really going to target our adductors. Once we feel that, we're then going to take our hands and crawl forward just a little bit until we feel a gentle stretch in our upper back. Once we feel that, we're then going to hold 
hold that position. Tuck your chin towards your chest, and now just rock your whole body backward like this, taking your butt towards your heels. The more that you go back, the more that you're going to feel that deep stretch intensify that goes down into the groins, across the pelvic floor, and the hips. Hold this one comfortably for 20 to 30 seconds and do nice, slow, controlled breathing. Let out as much tension as you can. From there, just rock forward, take a breather. On the next repetition, challenge yourself to stretch into it just a little bit more and just repeat this over and over again for about three to five repetitions. This is how we're going to take it to the next level and do a little bit more strengthening to hopefully get some long lasting relief. We're going to do what is called the hydrant. So let's get back onto all fours like this and have our knees roughly hip width apart. What I'm going to do is keep one knee bent roughly at 90 degrees and just lift my body up just a little bit on that side so my knee is hovering just about an inch above the floor. What we're going to do from here is rotate our whole body like this, bringing our knee upward towards the ceiling. The more that you lift that leg and that knee upward towards the ceiling, the more that you're going to feel a ton of muscles start to fire, including the glutes that works into the pelvic floor towards the groin. Focus on feeling it around the groin. Once you feel that, hold this comfortably for five seconds, relax, and then repeat it on the other side. I like to do this one about five times on both sides. But if it feels like you have a little bit more energy and this exercise is really helping you out, try to throw in another set or two. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.